Good happy Sunday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Epping Police looking for man suspected of theft at Walmart. Epping Police said they are looking for a man who allegedly walked out of Walmart carrying two Dyson vacuum cleaners. Police said it appeared sometime Saturday afternoon. Loss prevention personnel allegedly asked the man to show a receipt, but police said he ignored them and continued walking to his car in the parking lot. The combined value of the vacuums is about 700. He was seen leaving in a white sedan. Police think it may be a Volkswagen Jetta. If anyone recognizes the man or has any further information, they are asked to call Epping Police at 603 Six seven nine five one two two. Upcoming transmission line work. Eversource Energy is scheduled to start transmission work in Deerfield and Nottingham in the next few weeks. This maintenance work will be taking place on two transmission lines in the Deerfield, Nog Nottingham, Lee, Barrington, Rochester, Durham, and Madbury area. One transmission line extends from the Deerfield substation on Cape Road to East Point substation on Walnut Street in Rochester, and the other line extends from the Madbury substation on Parkins Road in Durham to the East Port La substation. The scope of this work is to replace some existing wood structures with new weathering steel structures and or install structure hardware. Crews from JCR Utility Construction CEO Michael Power Harlan Electric Co and Supreme Industrial will be working on behalf of Eversource. Please note that this work will not interrupt electric service to residents or businesses. Work will begin in July and is expected to be complete by November. Work hours will be 7 o'clock a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and if necessary Saturday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. This schedule is weather dependent and subject to change. All property owners abruptly the rights of way are being notified of the work as well as being provided with a 1888 number and an email address if they would like additional information. It is the Eversource Sighting and Contract Service Information Line at 1-888-926-5. Three three four, and New Hampshire Projects info at eversource dot com. Child rescued from capsized boat in Wareham has died. School officials say. A boy rescued from a capsized boat near. Wareham Wednesday has died, according to a letter school officials sent to the community. 
Sudbury Public Schools said in the letter to parents Sunday that Harry O'Connell Connor, a third grader at Nixon Elementary, died after he and his family were involved in a boating accident on the Cape Cod Canal. The eight-year-old was on board a boat with three adults and eight other children when it overturned. Witnesses said the boat was struggling in the water and appeared to be overloaded before the accident. Professional diver Michael Magals had just surfaced the from a dive in the area when the incident happened and pulled the boy from underneath the boat. Magal said he was unable to spot the boy because of his life jacket. Grief counselors will be available from 1 to 3 p.m. at Nixon Elementary and Curtis Middle School. We're following some breaking news. Deputies investigating fatal shooting in Baldwin. One person is dead following a fatal shooting in the town of Baldwin. The Cumberland County Sheriff's Office said a caller reported a person with a gunshot wound near the Carl Burn. Nell Road just before 2 p.m. Sunday. Few details were released. Witnesses say medical helicopter was called to transport the victim but did not take off from the scene. Officials say the victim was shot in the chest. Investigators have not specified whether or not early evidence investigate any foul play. We will provide you more details as they become available. Putin slashing number of U.S. diplomatic staff in Russia by 755 people. Let's take a listen to the video. Here's to the safety first. I think I might burst. Totally immersed weekenders. Whatever kind of weekender you are, there's a Hilton for you. Book your weekend break direct with Hilton.com and join the summer weekenders. The A's are 98, the nays are 2. The bill is passed. There's the moment Thursday when the Senate overwhelmingly passed new sanctions on Russia in response to its interference in the 2016 election. That bill is now on the president's desk, faced with veto-proof majorities in both houses of Congress. The White House said late Friday that President Trump will sign it. Russia's Vladimir Putin had warned before the vote that new sanctions would prompt, quote, retaliation. So I spoke with Russia's deputy foreign minister on his country's response to the U.S. You were the one who notified the Americans that the Russians would be expelling American diplomats and technicians, closing down some facilities. So is this what President Putin was talking about in terms of retaliation? Yes, it is. And I think this retaliation is long, long overdue. After the Senate, uh, the day before yesterday, voted, or rather, on the 27th. Okay, and here's a look. That was a look at some of the video. Russian President Vladimir Putin said in a television interview that the U.S. must cut the size of its diplomatic force in his country by more than half, about 1,210 to 455. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday evening. Good night, everyone. Bye.